Yo, what is up you guys? Hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday because we got another one for y'all today. Now, this one was recorded last night. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not record these in the morning. I went this morning and played some basketball. It's the first time I've done that. But hey, I decided to do that because why not? I need to get my basketball skills better so when we start vlogging, I can, you know, uh, 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 not suck. So without further ado, though, we going to get right into this video. We got the top 10 dark solitary confinement stories i don't even know what to expect so i want you to buckle your seatbelt, tie in your helmet like and subscribe before we get into the video because that's the entrance fee you know hold on wait till you do it okay and now the video has been unlocked we can get right into it number 10 there we, we go y'all caesar villa's essay caesar villa was a prisoner in a california penitentiary and after some of the guards declared that he was a gang member they decided that it was time to lock him away in solitary confinement hey. for mm, an unknown amount of time after he was what released, exactly he wrote an essay about what it felt like going through so that. what it is sound like so solitary confinement is just a room by yourself and you just stay in there for a little bit I feel like that's not too bad. Torment. He spoke about how the first three weeks he slowly started to see himself slipping and the isolation sucked. By the end of the first year, he oh, talked about how three he was weeks? That's a while. The cold, which caused his hands and feet to split open and he was bleeding constantly, but he was never given any sort of bandages to cover up his wounds because resources like this are not permitted. Oh After my three years God. In a box, he said that his psyche started to fade. When he looked back at that moment, he can pinpoint that as the moment where he knew that would change forever. He Three to keep years, his mind focused and his memory started to feel like jumbled mess. It's a wild essay to read. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds insane. Three years into a cell by yourself with nobody else? And insight, what it was like to go Who through wouldn't go crazy? isolation, being in isolation in a solitary confinement. Number nine, like what? not everyone's a monster. All right, let's continue on this list of the dark solitary confinement stories. At number nine, we have not everyone's a monster. Their perspective on the other side can let us know that not even the guards like what's happening in these places. What do you mean? A corrections officer posted on Reddit about how watching inmates get forced into solitary confinement was the worst part of his job. Yeah, I bet that'd be hard to well, like put somebody in there. I mean, the corrections you officers have to put, you have to put people into a cell where they're gonna lose their mind, bro. I'm sure that's not an easy task. They didn't to want have to see to do. the inmates hurt or tormented. They just wanted to come in and do their job and just leave without being harmed or seeing the inmates and convicts harmed. This course, Reddit poster talks about a particular incident where a warden forced someone to stay in solitary confinement for a minor offense. They were shoved into a room that had no bed and there was literally just a shower. No they bed? stayed there for three three days and started to self-harm because they just couldn't take it they were going crazy the person was removed and afterwards the warden was yeah fired. i feel like so i feel like it, sure. the reason i would go crazy is i just be so bored you know what i'm saying i'm a people person so if i ain't got no people to be people persons with i'm just gonna be a weird people person by myself and a people i don't even know i'll go crazy like button, because it really helps us so it really helps us sell it does so it does to you please guys. Number eight, we have i William really help i really William appreciate blake it. has been in solitary confinement for over 25 years and he's still surviving there is this real life right now 25 years of anything is way too long he continues to write about his experience stuck in his cell years. in an article titled a sentence worse than death he talks about feeling loneliness and boredom that seem to be so powerful they have a physical effect on his body I'd like a that pressure bored, just dude. seeping in every day in solitary confinement if I'm that bored like I can see that happening to hold on to your own psyche he has seen many Many men lose the battle with the box, have their minds slip away, and slowly but surely go insane from the pressure of being alone every day, all day for years at a time. See, what 25 said, years, I'd be insane. Is when the guards walk into a cell and they find a man hanging from the ceiling. Very tragic. Many of the people that are forced into solitary confinement Whoa, Logan Paul, are going stay to away. make it to the point where they are released or lose their mind. They're going to end up suffering on their own terms. 
Number seven, Reddit confession. Reddit user Jesus broke down what their experience in solitary confession? confinement was. About how they felt as if they're going insane from being forced to stay in the same cell for who knows how long. The lights in the cell I want to try this, yo. One day, hey, remind me if, if I'm ever able to have my vlogs take off or, or these take off. You know, cross your fingers, hope to die. You know, dot your eyes. We are going to do a solitary confinement challenge. I want to see if you actually can go crazy just by being in a room all day. Like, I feel like, uh, yeah, but like, yes and no. I, I, I um, We'll have to try it one day. We'll have to try it one day and find out. Time, there was never an escape from the glow shining down on him, confusing his mind to what day it was. Because he doesn't know when it's nighttime. It's always daytime. Oh, right? I feel it's like, I know how he feels. Day you know, for him. I've, I lose track user had a of the days with how much I'm inside sometimes. That he can look outside if he stood on his toes. So he needs to go up there, which means, you know, that's the only time he can actually see out. This was his only connection with the outside world. It's pretty sad if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, that is and pretty sad. That's kind of like that. insane. Six, that would make me go crazy. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I mean, I don't I know go a lot of phobia. these phobias that I've been reading about. Well, this article that I was reading is from the Marshall Project. It's an interview with a prisoner who was in solitary confinement for 22 years. Agoraphobia is based... Yo, but 22 years in solitary confinement? You would go crazy. And if you're telling me you wouldn't, you're lying. You're lying, you're lying. Basically the opposite of claustrophobia, when people must be in smaller spaces or they start to have panic attacks. The prisoner said that the last five years well, of his time in solitary confinement, he didn't leave his cell, like, at all. Could you guys imagine that? I, I can't imagine that at all. When he was first locked away in solitary, he would leave his cell to go to the yard and exercise, but one day that all changed. He stepped out and it felt like the air around him was just crushing him, like his heart was going Dang, to Dang, he was in solitary confinement so long. Long, he can't it, go outside opened, anymore? He wasn't running out of his cell. He was running in his cell. The guards would sometimes use this to aggravate him. They would threaten to pull him out, out of his cell. I mean, this is really sad. Is that true life right now? insane. They Imagine being threatened by the guards that come out of your cell. Like, oh, you want to go? You want to go? Do you want to come out of your cell? You want to be forced to go outside? Some serious stuff, y'all. That sounds insane. It shouldn't be a fear to be outside of your cell. This guy just can't handle freedom at all. He would lay in his cell and make up an imaginary life for himself. He would picture himself going on dates, getting married, raising children, an entire fantasy life all inside of his mind. Something to provide him with joy while being too afraid. Hey, make to smart choices, you guys. Don't go do Number anything five. to get you in solitary I confinement. Probably did like 17 years, 18 years in segregation. Um, and I did long stretches. This is not what you want to do. But the longest one was 10 years. I well, that that was Danny, a.k.a. That's Beast. Insane. Two separate prison sentences, a 24 and a 16 split. First locked up in 1977. He spent 10 straight years in solitary, but that wasn't the only time. He was in and out of segregation throughout the entirety of Whoa, his Why the barbed wire is coming sentences. at me like that? He is one of the lucky ones who got out and back into society. Hey, that's and awesome. he's partnered with a YouTube channel after prison where his life showcased and dissected his regard to Hey, that's awesome, experience. man. I'm glad he's doing something. Awesome fun now. And dealing with segregation for so long. Number four, Ashley Smith. Stay still, Ashley. What's happening? Hey! hey, hey. Okay, so this one what is close doing? to home. Being from, well, Toronto, Canada, where we film right now, just a short drive away, Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, Ashley Smith committed suicide by strangling herself to death while prison guards watched and videotaped. Yet, what? they did not stop her. She did this because she was placed in solitary confinement for 1,047 days. That's just one over three years. Thousand? Although Ashley had reportedly suffered from mental illnesses, Yo, her but case was fought that just and ultimately seems her wrong death was to me. Like, yeah, throw him in jail, but solitary confinement, that's just, that'd make anyone go insane. Like, do not expect to put somebody in solitary confinement and for them to come out a better person. That's all I'm going to say. That's, that's, that's just what I hope they know that they, there's no way that they're helping the people. That's what it is. Not a suicide. I totally would agree with that because the sheer negligence of those that watched her and didn't try to save her. Hopefully, those people just feel awful about themselves. And I don't show the video. See the inside. Not trying to get banned. Confinement. Keith Lamar comes in at number three. Bad that too many Lamar times. You know, can't have that. When he was in prison for killing someone and missed a drug deal gone wrong. 
A few years later, he was moved into solitary confinement where he stayed for 27 years. He wasn't even able to go outside in that time. The closest thing he had Seven. ever to go outside was the open air underground, a wreck cage, which is this metal confinement they use for recreational. Fortunately, he does hey. have some belongings in his six by 10 cell. Oh, that's kind of nice. He said, I've been lucky in a lot of ways. My cell has a bookshelf with three shelves and there is a table. Oh, that's not bad write. at all, you guys. Music and books to it read. It could be a lot worse than that. Myself from myself, but to take deeper into myself. I paint, I work out, I do yoga, I meditate. I meditate for an article written. You know what, though? I would love to have a conversation with these people because uh, I feel like if you if you sit in a cell for, you know what I'm saying, 20, 20 some years, all you have to do is uh, time to reflect on life and yourself. So I bet these people have a really deeper meaning with themselves and in life. So I'd love to sit down and have a conversation with these people one day. I think that'd be actually really cool. Recently about how to handle quarantine and being alone during 2020 COVID pandemic. He is still currently serving a sentence and is waiting execution in 2023. So in a number two, Dang. we have another dark story told. This story That's said, sad. You're literally in jail waiting down. to I just really die. I really had some bad times, some bad thoughts. Dang, man. I thinking along lines of Roofing. maybe this is it. Maybe this is how I'm going to end. Suicide is probably one of the main things down here. And he also said, I'm pretty much going through that. I was going to end my life. I don't think... I can do it. I don't think I can stay down here in the hole that long. Well, this was a direct quote from Richard Wolf, a man who experienced 640 days in solitary confinement. His brother is shown holding a photo of Richard who died in prison when he collapsed in the like, exercise Dang. yard. And this is during the one That's hour so a day he was allowed outside due to underlining heart conditions that were never met with appropriate medical attention. And we have Albert Number Woodfuck one, y'all. Number one. We've talked about him Albert many times. Woodfuck? Well, this right here is Albert Woodfox. Well, he was kept in solitary confinement for... Okay, wait for it. You guys won't believe it. You're never going to believe how long he did. I'm Not guessing. Wait a minute. I'm guessing 40 years. Let me know what y'all's guess is in the comments. If you got, if you've made it this far to the video. I'd be surprised considering uh, not too many people do. But if you do, drop a comment because you would G. And let me know your guess. But in solitary confinement. Well, if your guess was 43 years, you would be correct. He was Ooh, first placed in there when he was accused of murdering a prison guard, something he denies to this day and believes that he was framed or there was funny business going on. The prison had no that viable reason to keep insane. him in a six foot by nine foot concrete box by himself for that years long, he but they did, allowing Albert only one hour of solo yard time a day With, while he remained shackled. So while he thought he was in innocent too? outside for an hour, but yet you still have to be shackled. In the last year of prison they cut that down to just three hours a week i'm blown away by how absolutely awful this is that poor man is yeah, finally that, out of prison and he's in goodness. his early 70s imagine being there for a crime you never committed yeah well, that'd be a, so that, that's so unfair man i hate to see people go to jail for crimes they didn't commit I, that's absolutely insane y'all be easy though i hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day i hope y'all enjoyed that video i'm probably playing basketball right now you know what i'm saying uh, 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 bucking it up or actually i probably did this morning so i'm, I'm probably already home by now but y'all be easy hope y'all have a great day and uh make sure to like and subscribe deuces